everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all surviving these crazy corona times. I have such mixed feelings about this virus. It's gotten to a point now where the whole country is really taking major precautions to prevent its spread and try to stop it in its tracks. We're at a point now where we really can't ignore it. I wanted to share a few healthy practices to keep your nails clean and prevent them from harboring any bacteria spreading this virus or any others for that matter. Let's jump right into it. Tip number one, keep your nails short. I recently did trim them down, not because of the coronavirus, but because I broke one and I had to trim the rest of them. But keeping your nails short, there's gonna be less undersurface for germs and bacteria to make a home. But you do wanna be careful. You don't wanna cut your nails too short to the point where they break or hurt because then you're gonna find yourself with an open wound, which is just a gateway for bacteria to enter. If you have any broken skin around your nails or on your cuticles, you really wanna to tend to it and do everything you can to prevent it from getting worse. So do not peel any hangnails. If you have a cuticle clipper, try to nip it as close to the skin as you can. Keep that skin really clean and disinfected and apply moisturizer or a cuticle oil regularly to help that skin heal up. You don't want to have any open wounds on your hand. Again, it's just a big welcome sign for any bacteria to enter. Next up, you want to avoid manicures, specifically gel or dip powder manicures for the mere fact that these type of manicures are thicker and are prone to lifting. And when a polish is prone to lifting, you're more likely to welcome germs, dirt, bacteria, dust into that area and it's going to be a little harder to remove and keep clean. For this crazy time in the world, take this as an opportunity to give your nails a little break. Give them a breather, let them rehab a little bit. I currently just have a couple coats of nail strengthener on my nails. It's pretty sheer so I can see what's on there and what's getting under there. Nothing wrong with going au natural for a little bit. Last but not least, wash your hands, specifically your nails. Everyone knows to lather up, scrub for a good 20 seconds, really get in there. But I don't think many people are paying as close attention to their fingernails. It's a little harder while you're out, but when you're home, keep a nail brush by your sink and just as you're washing your hands, use it to scrub beneath the surface of your nails. This is gonna dislodge any dirt, any germs, any bacteria, anything that may be hiding that you can't see with the natural eye. If you don't have a nail brush, pull some soap into your palm and kind of scratch at it with your nails so that you get that soap underneath your fingers. Don't forget your thumbs. And then just kind of scratch at your palm so you're really distributing that soap and dislodging any of the dirt. It's going to ensure that your nails are thoroughly clean. So that's really it. Those are my coronavirus fingernail fighting tips. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a professional, but I do know how to keep my hands and fingers clean. And these are really just common sense practices. So to quickly recap, keep your nails short and trim, but not too short. You don't wanna have any open wounds. Avoid gel or dip powder manicures. Last but not least, wash your hands and wash your fingernails. I hope you all are staying safe. You're not freaking yourselves out too much about this virus, but are taking the necessary precautions to keep yourself and those around you safe. So much has changed from day to day. It is a little crazy. I know I've never experienced anything like this in the United States, but I'm glad that it's being taken more seriously and I'm confident that we are going to stop this virus in its tracks and hopefully come spring when the temperatures warm up a little bit, it'll be completely killed off and the corona, corona will be a thing of the past. Let me know how you guys have been feeling. I honestly have felt every emotion under the sun, but at this point I'm just kind of going with the flow. I'm not really scared of it. I'm more so concerned with daily life being significantly disrupted, but we're just taking it day by day. Let me know your thoughts below. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. If you're new here, poke around. I have a ton of DIY manicure related content and I love to chat all things nails with you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.